Take a simple piece of wire. If you run a high voltage current through it, it resists, heats up, turns a glowing red, and then, snap, it melts. But you're a visionary. You wonder, what if we used a metal with an incredibly high melting point? You choose tungsten, which can withstand temperatures over 3000 degrees Celsius. You wire it up, and for a moment, it's brilliant. But then, it burns out again. Even though the temperature was well below its melting point, the wire failed. The culprit? Oxygen. At high heat, metal reacts with the air, oxidizes, and simply evaporates. To solve this, you encase the wire in a glass bulb, vacuum out the air, and inject an inert gas that won't support combustion. Now, the light is stable, but a straight wire doesn't have enough resistance to truly illuminate a room. So, you coil that filament into a tight, double spiral to boost the resistance and the glow. At 2500 degrees, however, the metal becomes soft and begins to sag. Your final masterstroke is a central glass pillar, an insulator that supports the spiral filament while perfectly sealing the bulb. Congratulations, you have just invented the incandescent light bulb. You've allowed humanity to conquer the darkness with the flick of a switch. But there is a dark side to this bright idea. Because of your invention, factories realized they could stay open all night. You brought light to the world. But you also invented the third shift, and a whole lot of mandatory overtime. 